I'm very excited about what's possible today for our customers at Booking.com with the emergence of generative AI. But first, let me tell you a little something about Booking.com. Let me give you a sense of some of our scale. In the accommodation space alone, we have over 28 million listings of places to stay. If you want to book a flight, you can choose a flight in 54 countries. You might need a rental car in the location. You can choose from fi over 52,000 rental car locations across the globe. And if you'd like to find something to do, you can book an attraction before or in the app. As you can imagine, that presents a lot of data challenges for us in the form of we manage over, it's, it's over 150 petabytes of data. And several years ago, we recognized that we need some help. So we partnered with Amazon and AWS to help us tackle some of these challenges. Our data scientists are thrilled to see that the number of jobs they can train concurrently has gone up by 3x. The de they have decreased, seen a decrease of 2x in the number of jobs that failed, largely due to the limitations of our own infrastructure. But certainly their favorite, it's a 5x reduction in the time it takes to train their jobs. And I should note that some of these jobs are trained on over 3 billion examples. So when generative AI really hit this year, we set out to build the AI trip planner, making it much easier to book a trip with Booking.com in a conversational manner. And we felt that the Llama 2 model was the perfect one for us to implement our intent detection model. So we started there with hosting Llama as a SageMaker endpoint. Now, if you notice on the left-hand side, I entered into our AI trip planner what I would just have as a conversation. I'm going to a conference in Las Vegas. I don't really like to gamble, but I do like good food. Where should I stay? Well, the first thing you have to realize is that we have to do a little bit of moderation first. First, we have to make sure that the conversation is even, even related to travel. That isn't always the case. But more importantly, one of the things that we learn is that our customers tend to put their personally identifiable information in the trip planner itself. And we always want to protect our customers' privacy. So when we want to make sure that we're stripping those sorts of things out first. One of the things that I tend to talk about when I talk about Booking.com with our customers is our great selection, our flexibility, and great price. But they always tell us that they love our reviews. There are, there's just years of data there that really helps them make a good decision. So our RAG implementation, leveraging AWS technology, pulls in our review data and helps make it easier for our travelers to make a decision. Lastly, we ask the LLM to then populate a JSON object that speaks directly to our recommendation engine, also powered by machine learning, and give them the best choice possible in a nice little carousel that they can sweep through and book right in the app. As you can see, we're already making use of SageMaker. We're working closely with the Bedrock teams on a couple new exciting things coming up. And we're also working with the Titan teams. But I thought to myself for today, why not cover the whole arc? And maybe I should ask Titan what I should have said today. So let's see what Titan had to say. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, Swami, for the introduction. One, travel booking is a large market with lots of data. But until now, it has been very difficult to use that data to personalize the booking experience. Very true. Two, generative AI is a new technology that can take all of that booking data, learn from it, and then generate new content that is personalized to each individual user. You saw that. Three, at booking.com, we use Gen AI to create personalized hotel recommendations that are tailored to each user's unique needs and preferences. Want to book a trip? Visit booking.com. Wow, what a difference. How about that for an arc of technology? Thank you very much. <laughs>